When the stars are spelling, spelling your name And the night is brighter than daylight They know that something, something awaits Kick off your shoes, let your body, body flow Listen to the river, it's better than radio You won't fall even when you go high Growing up can be so hard Hard, hard It's gonna be alright tonight We're gonna kill you today Hey everybody, so I am a finally back with a new tutorial this is actually going to be a talk through tutorial and I will say right off the bat please excuse the awkwardness I feel I'm re adjusting to filming myself and again so I feel a little awkward doing so so just you know ignore the awkwardness um but yeah so I'm gonna be doing a colorful eyeshadow tutorial for you guys and I really do like this I feel like it is so perfect for spring and summer coming up and like Coachella just happened so I felt very inspired and I had the day off so I figured why not film a video for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you want to know how I got this look and the products that I use then just okay, keep so on watching. starting off I already applied an eyeshadow primer I used the new Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer since the one they had before was like my holy grail and then for the base I decided to use the Maybelline Fierce and Tangy color tattoo just because I want that lid color to pop so taking an eyeshadow brush up first I'm gonna go ahead and work on my crease but I do want to set the color on my lid so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sleek <laughs> makeup palette uh, this is the acid palette I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright beautiful orange we are all about neon colors guys on this channel and since it is my first makeup tutorial back I wanted to do something very colorful but actually did this look a while back and if you follow me on instagram you pretty much I think I posted this look because it was my favorite with this palette and that's what I did with this for my crease I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this color right here. I believe these don't have names in this palette. In the other palette that I'm using, they do have uh, the eyeshadows do have names. I always like when they have names. I feel like it's so much easier. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm just going to take it on a blending brush. This is just a blending brush that came with one of my BH Cosmetics. Uh, So next, moving on to the next palette, I'm going to be using, it's also from Sleek, and this is the Ultra Matte Palette. I'm going to be taking this purple right here, which I believe this one does have a name. It is called Sugar Light. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and work that on into the crease as well. Right now it does look very sensory, I guess you guys can say, but oh, I just love And next to blend those out, we're going to go ahead and take this pink right here. It is called Pout. It's not super bright, but just bright enough to get it. And we're also going to go ahead and go in with another pink later. But this is just to blend out the purple right now. Just because I do want a bit of pink, and I love the way purple and pink look mixed together. I just think they're so gorgeous. And using a little bit of this one, this one's called Pucker. It's more of a lighter pink, not as bright, but just because I want to add a little bit more pink, which we're also going to go in with one more color. One more pink shade. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hot pink like hot hot pink 
um, eyeshadow from the Acid Palette. go ahead and take a clean blending brush this is from BH Cosmetics this one you can buy separately and it is so soft and absolutely my favorite so we're just gonna go ahead and blend all of those because I feel like we did get rid of the lid color I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Ultra Matte Palette and add this orange on top of the orange we already have from the Acid Palette. Drinking the sun. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to uh, line my upper lid. Um, I'm going to be using the NYX White Eyeliner. And then I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of white eyeshadow. Such a huge difference in lighting, right? I fixed uh, my camera settings, I guess, or played around with the settings. Anyways, I went ahead and did my face and I already added blush. I didn't add my highlighter yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my eye look. So, working on the bottom line, I'm gonna take this, I believe it's Milani, this Milani eyeliner pencil in Mediterranean blue. You can use either a green eyeliner or a white eyeliner pencil. I'm going to go ahead and use the white just because we are going to be using two different colors as well. I'm going to actually use two brushes. So first I'm going to use the crease brush that we just used. I'm going to take this bright, bright green. Once again, this is from the Acid Palette. And then you're gonna blend it into that blue. I'm taking this flat brush. This is an eye, another eye crease brush, but it's just a more flat shaped. Still using the acid palette, gonna apply that right here in this inner corner. When the stars are spelling, spelling your name in the night. However, this yellow is not really doing much for me so I'm gonna go ahead and take glow sticks from ColourPop on the same brush is than <laughs> they know something, something so now we're just gonna finish up by applying some mascara and I'm using the benefit 
roller lash just cuz <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a highlighter <laughs> now that I have my brows on I feel so much better and I'm gonna be using the new Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour highlighter and this is in the color Sin and because this is such a very in your face look uh normally i wouldn't care i would just go in with a you know colorful lip as well but i'm gonna use this pacifica power of love powerful color natural lipstick and the color sweet it's gonna be all right tonight. i feel like it looks a little bit nude or like on the brown side so I'm going to go over it with the Kat Von D Studded Lipstick in Lovecraft. I think it looks good. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And I'm um, sorry for the weirdness. I'm still getting used to being on camera again but i hope you guys enjoyed it and trust me i have more tutorials planned and i'm gonna give you a little close-up of my eyes so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i do have more tutorials planned if you guys want to see more colorful tutorials let me know i these palettes are so colorful i absolutely love it absolutely perfect for spring so and i also do have you know other looks planned not just colorful ones but oh my gosh i'm just so excited to be back so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial until then have a super duper fantabulous day I, 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 I,